If you own a 3D printer, there may be times where you won't be using it for extended periods. During that 3D printing hiatus, how do you store your filaments? In this video, I'll show you how I've been storing mine. It's been far too long since my last video, and I guess I should restart with how I've been storing my spools of plastic. As 3D printer filament is hygroscopic, which means it has a tendency to absorb moisture from the air, it's best to keep it stored in low humidity environments. This prevents the plastic from absorbing moisture, which can turn to steam whilst passing through the hot end nozzle, ruining a nice 3D print. A common way to store filament is inside an airtight box with some form of humidity suppressor, either passively with desiccant or actively with dehumidifiers. And have you noticed how filament manufacturers store their filaments? Especially when they can be sitting on a shelf in a warehouse for an unknown period of time. They vacuum seal their plastic, so rather than removing humidity from the air, they simply remove the air itself. I purchased a battery powered pump, which came with an assortment of reusable storage bags. The pump has a rechargeable lithium ion battery, which is charged by USB. It has a single button on top to activate and deactivate the pump. The storage bags that came with the pump are too small for our spools. But as a test, I vacuum sealed a 3D printed goblet, which after four months is still tightly sealed within this bag. I also purchased larger reusable vacuum bags this one here has dimensions of 35 centimeters by 50 centimeters. This is enough room for the spool to fit inside the bag and leaves enough spare volume around the spool for the bag to compress and seal around the filament. These reusable vacuum bags have a double zip seal and a one way vacuum valve. Pop the filament inside the bag. Close the zipper and then use the vacuum pump to evacuate the air. And after a few moments, you'll have vacuum sealed your plastic, just like when you bought it brand new. You can include the bag of desiccant into these bags as they're supplied free with every spool that we purchase anyway. If you're unsure if the desiccant bag is saturated, you can bake them in the oven at 100 degrees Celsius for an hour or in the microwave on medium for 10 minutes. Some desiccant bags also change colour when saturated as an indication to dry them out before reusing. The other type of common vacuum bags used for fabric and clothing could also be used and you could place many reels of filament inside them as the bags are much larger. And you can use a standard vacuum cleaner as well. But not all is rosy with some of these bags I've purchased. One had a rip on the side. whilst a couple of others seem to lose their vacuum overnight. So it's probably best to buy more than you'll need, just in case. Well, thanks for watching. This was just a quick video on a different method to store our plastic to get the ball rolling with more videos. See you soon. And bake this in the oven at 100 degrees Celsius until al dente. Add salt to taste.